Hey Dom. Hi, yeah. How are you doing? Hey, good show. So, uh, really interesting. I don't often see light uh, a, a product, but this is, explain, tell me, this is Z Ray, right? The product is Z Ray. The company is called Think Radio, and it's wireless event lighting. So, ultra portable, battery powered, rechargeable, any USB charger. You can typically run for about two gigs without recharging it and it's making lighting really easy and accessible for events. So you bring these along, you scatter them around the room, your lighting rig is set up. Screen on the back here where you set the DMX channel number and that's pretty much it. No mains cables. You can put these amongst your audience and you know not worry about trip hazards. And if I show you one of the other devices, extra feature here, if you have existing DMX lighting, you can wireless bridge to them so you can connect to your existing lighting and eliminate the cables. Does that mean you can also use it as just a ge generic kind of wireless bridge? Absolutely, yes. You can, you can turn this light off and it's just a bridge. Interesting, okay. So what, do, I mean, this brightness, okay, you've got a case full of them here. Uh, the music we hear in the background is sort of driving some sound to light sort of thing. But what, what sort of brightness are we talking about? I mean, they seem bright in the room. It's hard to tell on the camera. What, would that kind of equate to a, like a, what, a par, a par 50, a par 64 or something like that? Uh, yes, yeah, something of that order. Um, it, it's quite hard to quantify exactly how bright a light is. Uh, you know, looking at specs doesn't tell you that no, much. No, you're right. You, really, you have to put the lights side by side and evaluate them in your application. Because what really matters is, is it sufficient light for what I'm doing? Yeah, and so these are these different lenses or are they different units? Oh, oh let me show you. These are interchangeable lenses. They're made by a lovely Finnish company called Ledl, and they do about 200 different lenses. So. These are my two favourites, uh, a simple Fresnel and a, a very nice lens called a Zoira that does this diffusion pattern. And what, I'm, I mean, I'm particularly interested because we use DMX lighting in our studio, um, but the, 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 the PWM rate for the uh, dimmers is not video friendly. Do you know anything about the, that uh, with these lights? The refresh rate from the base station to here uh, is guaranteed five milliseconds latency. The actual LED refresh rate is well into the kilohertz. So, it should so be you, video you shouldn't see should aliasing against main fre mains frequency. Interesting. So uh, presumably that's the those are the uh, that's a box of receiver unit. What yep. I really like the idea is you could just kind of it's like um, the boot in uh, what's it Repo Man <laughs> and there Exa they all are. Yeah. Exactly that. That's perfect description. So. Uh, there's a, there must be a transmitter unit as well, right? Right, this one's the transmitter. So here we see it's both powered by USB and getting USB data. However, if you've got a traditional lighting desk, you can use a DMX hookup and just hook up DMX. So if you're extending an existing fixed wiring lighting system, you can do that. So would you set that up as like a, a, a parallel universe, a DMX universe, or would it just be, you can um, say, I just want to use channels 120 and above or whatever really, really you can do either you you could have a separate uh, wireless universe or you could use this to extend a fixed wiring universe how interesting and this how are they communicating what frequency are we operating on uh, it's all running on 2.4 gigahertz right, so and it's license free phew exactly ism band um, one of the problems with the existing protocols is latency latency is your big enemy here and you know Bluetooth has a particular reputation for its latency problems. Oh, yeah. Here, I absolutely guarantee the latency is five milliseconds. So every five milliseconds, another radio packet goes over of a full universe. Wow, okay. So um, these are prototypes. Have you got any idea of what the sort of pricing is? Right. What I'm doing here today is evaluating these, finding out what the customer really wants, it's due to be on sale at the beginning of July. Target price is £150 per light and £100 for the base station. So, I mean, that's well in the, that's, that's similar to what you, what you might buy for sort of affordable DJ lighting DMX units. It, exactly that. 
Have you got any plans to go brighter or bigger or gobo or any of that stuff? That That's a good question. I, I think it may be the opposite. It may be smaller. It may be the wristbands and particularly modules for theatre that can be worn on the body. Right. There's, uh, I'm, I'm getting more demand from the small end than the large end. Because I, I guess that's an area that's hard, that there's less competition in as well, right? Mm. Mm. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, best of luck. Where can people find out about your stuff? Uh, please go to the company website, thinkrad.io. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.